Hello, everyone. This is a solution of quiz number two, module eight for all students in the STEM schools. Uh, question number one, here is a graph of a function. Use a graph to find the following, okay? Um, all values at which uh, G has a local maximum, you have uh, only one point at the local maximum, zero and three. This uh, point is located at X equals zero. And the value, all local maximum values of G at um, three, this is answer. Okay, continue. Uh, complete each statement below. Know that you can draw in in scratch area, but it's not part of the um, of the um, answer. Here, I want to uh, solve this question. Complete the statement below about the graph y equal x plus one and y equal x. Compared to the graph y equal x, the graph y equal x x plus one is, of course, shifting up is uh, um, uh, less. Equally steep. Equally steep means the same the same um, slope. Look, this is slope of one, the same slope. Only x plus one is the same uh, y equal x after shifting one unit up or translation one unit in y direction. Compared to the graph of y equal x, the graph of y x plus one um, intersect at the y axis at what? Of course, this one, this point is y axis. Uh, a higher point, yeah. A higher point, same point, lower point. The y, x plus one intersect the y axis at higher point because the first one is x on the x, x plus zero. Complete the statement below about the graph of y equal one over five x and y equals uh, x. Um, uh, compared to the graph y equal x, the graph of y equals one over five x is what? One over five is x is less is cheaper. Less is cheaper, and yeah, slope is less than the slope of the parent function y equal x. Compared to the y equal x, the graph of y over x intersected the y axis at the same point because uh, they are both having the same um, uh, y intercept, which is um, zero, okay? Continue here. Use a graph to determine the behavior of the function between the indicated points. Here, from A to B, the function is constant. Look at this one from A to B horizontal line segment. B to C, the function is decreasing, going down. From left to right, the curve is going down. From C, D, C to D, the function is increasing. And the D to E, the function is also a constant. It's a represented a horizontal line segment, always a constant function. Okay. The next one, graph the line y equal negative x plus seven, simply the y intercept seven just to go to the line, go to the seven here. And uh, this point is seven, the y intercept and the slope is negative one, exactly this one. This is a slope negative one, one up and one left or two up and two left gives you a slope of negative one. Next question now. Graph the inequality in the, in the uh, uh, coordinate plane, x bigger than or equal to six. First of all, you draw the line, uh, y equals six, this line, this, this one, x equals six, sorry, this one. This is the line, uh, x is equal to six. The, the x bigger than uh, uh, or equal six, this, this part, the right, uh, the right region to the line is all x coordinate bigger than six. So you just draw like this and then share this part. This is a solution, okay? This is a solution of the inequality. Very easy and very simple. Uh, the next question is uh, graph the inequality y bigger than negative five x plus two. Just you go, we, we graph usually the linear function from the last point, which is two, go to the two on, um, on the y, this is a line, the red line, and then slope negative five means five down and uh, one right. From two, when you go five down, you reach negative three, and this is a point. So this one, okay? Really, this is a line uh, whose equation y equals negative five x plus two. Uh, the slope, as you see, one, two, three, four, five, and one. No, I have to move this one. Here, I have to delete it again, I'm sorry. 
Again, start with a point two with, that represent um, uh, uh, the y-intercept. And I want to make a slope negative five. I, as I told you, negative five means five down and uh, one right. Five down would be negative three and one like this. This is, or maybe five up and one left, no problem. Okay. Now, why bigger than this part that includes the, the positive part of the Y or the, uh, uh, the upper head of the Y uh, axis, including the area. So the area must be this one. This one is a solution area. And this one here, I want to switch between, yeah, I want to make this line a dotted line because this, on, this inequality only Y bigger than. This is the final answer, thank you. Continue the next question. Okay, uh, a landscaper is planting a tree that is now 55 centimeter tall. The tree will grow three centimeter per month for X month. The tree uh, will grow to be at most Y uh, centimeters tall, right? An inequality showing this relationship. It's very simple. The, y, the 55 is the constant term and the rate of changing three centimeter represents the slope of the line. So simply the equation is y is equal to um, uh, 3x, okay, plus, um, plus the, the y-intercept or the constant term here is 55. Thank you, that's it. Very simple, very easy. Representing um, the situation represent is representing the represented by um, linear uh, equation. Why bigger than negative seven? Directly go to uh, the line and you go to the line y. Uh, negative seven. This is a negative seven, and they make a horizontal line. All horizontal lines. It's equation y equals switch between uh, uh, the solid line. Make a dotted line because um, you have the inequality only y bigger than. And the y bigger than the negative seven, the upper values of y, this region, all values of y in this region bigger than the values of down. So just shade this region. Thank you, that's it. Next question is here. Graph the inequality negative three x minus two x minus two y bigger than or less than or equal to, I need here just to show you some, um, uh, this part to explain. Look, my students, just write the inequality, negative uh, 3x uh, minus 2y less than or equal uh, to, just to add 2y to each side to make the y as object, okay? This is zero. Now start the inequality of this side, 2y plus two bigger than or equal negative 3x. And after that, just to bring it to the other side, so 2y, bigger than or equal negative three X minus two. And finally divide each term by two to get Y as subject. Now Y bigger than or equal negative three over two X minus one. You start solving or graphing the line from this negative one, just to go to negative one and draw a line, negative one here on Y, okay? And don't forget to make a slope uh, negative three over two. Negative three over two means the three down, from this point, from, from this point to three down, one, two, three, and uh, two right, one, two, this is a line. Now I succeed to draw a line with a slope negative three versus two, I mean three down and the two right. Uh, the line will continue to be solid line because the sign here is bigger than or equal. And uh, I want to shade the region that y bigger than, this region is y bigger than, just to make shading here because this values of y bigger than the values of y down here. Simply, that's it. Okay. Continue the last question we have today, uh, number 10. At uh, the time is about a shop, uh, auto, uh, time is auto shop, sorry. It takes here 12 minutes to do an oil change and 18 minutes to do a tire change. Let X be the number of oil change uh, he, uh, she does. Let Y um, uh, be the number of tire change she does. Using the values and variables um, uh, given, write an inequality describing how many oil um, uh, changes uh, and the tire changes, tell me 
can do in less than two hours. Two hours here is 120 minutes. Here I'm using 200, 120 minutes because uh, uh, then the number here is 18 minutes given. So 12 minutes for oil. And the time for oil is, um, uh, is what? Again, time is, it takes 12 minutes to do oil change and 18 minutes to do tire. That X number of changes, uh, number of oil. So just 12X, look this one here, 12X, just write it here. Okay. So uh, if I move this one part here, so I have 12x plus 18y, this must be smaller than or equal 120, okay? The question now using to find what, right? An inequality describing, this, this is the inequality describing because the total time of changing oil and changing tire uh, um, must not increasing than, uh, look, less than, look at this one, less than, in less than two hours, uh, less than two hours, we have only no need to write equal, only less than. So write this inequality now, 12x, just write, okay? Here it's, it's less than, just write here, 12x plus uh, 18y, less than 120 minutes. Thank you so much, and this is the answer. Thank you so much, my students. I hope to understand um, what I solved now. Thank you so much. See you next time. We have we have some mistakes here. The progress ninety. Why? Let me check. Let me check the problem we did here. And this one, retake below. Okay, quick retake. The time will begin once okay start to maybe we have a mistake here in this one yeah number seven uh, here is talking about um, uh, the same uh, question number seven uh, she's final exam she true or false question worth three points each okay and the multiple choice question worth uh, four let x a number of true so you have x three three x the total number now is three x let me let me write let me write, uh, let me read the, the full um, uh, question and then we write to answer again. Uh, X number of uh, true, false question, uh, he, he gets correct and delete Y be the number of multiple choice uh, question he gets correct. He need more than 85 points or more than 85 points is more than, okay, in the exam to get A. You think that. So now for the equation, very easy here, three points, the number of students of the uh, is x, false and uh, uh, false and um, or true or false, plus the number of the, the other type of questions is four points for each number of question, which is y, four points for the multiple choice, okay? The multiple choice is y, that's it, this is the answer. It must be bigger than a total number required is 85 points, that's it, this is the answer, okay? So submit the exam now. Submit assignment. Yeah, the answer now is 100%. Thank you so much and see you next time.